Hi friends, this is Ravi Verma and uh, in my previous video I discussed about uh, the important discoveries related to cell. I also discussed the size and shape of cell, unicellular and multicellular organisms. Right? I also discussed what is division of liver and in this video I will I am going to discuss about the structure of cell. Okay, so let us start our topic. Uh, look at this look, look at these notes. Uh, the first important point is uh, a cell is a tiny mass of protoplasm which is surrounded by a membrane and is capable of performing all functions of life. Right. So what is a cell? This is protoplasm and surrounded by a plasma membrane, a very thin membrane and this group of uh, protoplasm and uh, plasma membrane is capable of performing life functions. Right. So dear students, in every cell, in every cell on, on this earth, these three structures are very important and they are present in almost every cell. Right. Uh, what are these structures? The first structure is plasma membrane the second is nucleus and the third is cytoplasm we will be understanding in detail about these structures right so let me first tell you the basics of the structure of the cell all right so students if we talk about the different categories of the cell on this earth so there are uh, mainly four categories right uh, the first category is bacterial cell the second is fungal cell then is plant cell and then is an animal cell so uh, a bacterial cell i'm drawing here uh, like um, this is a bacterial cell this is suppose that this is a fungal cell this is suppose that a plant cell right and suppose that this is an animal cell here you can see dear strengths in uh, bacterial cell in fungal cell and in plant cell these all three types of cells have a thick outer covering that is known as cell wall cell wall but my dear uh, in animal cell there is no cell wall so first thing is clear that uh, the bacterial cell fungal cell and plant cell these th uh, these three different categories of cells they have a thick cell wall but the animal cell doesn't have a cell wall what is common in all these three cells the common is that all these three cells have a cell membrane also and they have a cell membrane for example animal cell has a cell membrane right the plant cell also has a cell membrane inside the cell wall in the same way the fungal cell also has a cell membrane inside the cell wall and bacterial cell also have a cell membrane right so the cell membrane or plasma membrane is present in every cell right the next structure is nucleus all the cells have a nucleus right inside them the nucleus controls the different activities of the cell right in now uh, there is cytoplasm dear strengths between the plasma membrane and the nucleus whatever material is present that all material is known as cytoplasm so what is cytoplasm cytoplasm is uh, the material excluding the plasma membrane and the nucleus so now let us discuss let us have a proper look at the structure of a cell all right so before i describe this structure let us move on to this image right here you can see this is an animal cell this is a plant cell you can see that plant cell has a cell wall a thick covering right but what is common you can see that both in plant and animal cell there is a cell membrane what is cell membrane? Dear students, in plant cell, the cell membrane lies inside the cell wall. Cell membrane inside, and yeah, cell membrane lies inside the cell wall. So, in both cells, plant and animal cells, cell membrane is there, right? Nucleus is present in both cells, and cytoplasm is also present in both cells. If you have not understand what is cytoplasm, look at look at this this picture. Here you can see this is the nucleus, this is the plasma membrane, and this all material. Right, this all matrix is called cytoplasm. Let us understand in detail <coughs> the structure of a plant cell. Okay, now look at these two layers outside the cell. These two layers are representing the cell wall. The important point to note here is that the inner green layer, the inner green layer is the cell wall of this plant cell, right? And this is the outer layer, you, you can see. Another outer layer, outer green layer, 
this outer green layer is the cell wall of the adjacent plant cell right you can imagine that another plant cell is connected here another plant cell is connected here right so the second layer which is visible right this second green layer is the cell wall of the adjacent cell now let us focus <coughs> on the plasma membrane right here so however the plasma membrane is not clearly visible right but you should imagine that a very thin delicate and elastic membrane is there inside the cell wall now look at the the two layers of cell wall the outer layer is adjacent cell wall it the cell wall of adjacent cell and the inner layer is the cell wall of this cell now between these two layers you can see a demarcating region right this demarcating region between the two layers of the cell wall uh, is the is the cementing material is a cementing material right which is joining which is connecting the different adjacent cells together right so this here you can see that the cementing material is deposited in the corner right this is very thick right this cementing material is called uh, middle lamella this is called middle lamella l a m e w -L, l a right this is called middle lamella this cementing material is made up of pectin right means this is rich in a chemical known as pectin <clears throat> all right students so the middle lamella works in the same way as uh, uh, the walls of uh, sorry the bricks of a wall are joined together by a cementing material now let us understand other structures you look here this is the, the, the rounded structure this rounded structure is a nucleus right this all material is the cytoplasm you know that this is the material right inside the plasma membrane and outside the nucleus now you can notice two parts in the cytoplasm first you can see this is a green colored background material this background material is called ground substance right and this is also called cytosol right students and in this ground substance you can see a large number of structures like this 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 and these all all structures these all structures are just suspended you can see in a ground substance these all structures are called the cell organelles right so there are two parts of the cytoplasm one is ground substance and the other is uh, the cell organelles what are cell organelles these are the organs of a cell which perform different different functions now let us look at the names of these cell organelles and their function in brief right first of all note this type of structure this is a mitochondria right uh, singular is mitochondrion and the plural is mitochondria right the mitochondria is a cell organelle which performs uh, the function of production of energy from food that is called respiration right so mitochondria performs cellular respiration and produce energy for the cell and that's why this is why the mitochondria is also called the powerhouse of the cell next look at this structure this is representing another cell organelle this is chloroplast you know that chloroplast is present only in plant cell it is not present in bacterial cell it is not present in animal cell or any fungal cell right but only present in plant cell and what is the function the chloroplast has a green colored pigment that is called chlorophyll right chlorophyll helps in carrying out the process of photosynthesis and by the process synthesis by the process of photosynthesis the plant cell produces the food for itself next look at this this image or means this structure do you see the structure these are a group of membranous disc like structures membranous tube like structures or membranous rounded vesicles right this is an extensive network of membranous vesicles tubules discs this all network looks like the reticulum and that's why this is called endoplasmic 
reticulum and the function of endoplasmic reticulum is to produce protein and lipids means fats and oils so proteins fats and oils and the steroid hormones are produced on the endoplasmic reticulum we will be discussing about each and every organelle in detail in the upcoming videos right uh, note that the note that uh, the endoplasmic reticulum actually originates from the membrane of the nucleus you can notice that uh, the nucleus has has an envelope this envelope is also made up of some membranes you see the endoplasmic reticulum is also made up of some membranes now look at this picture this uh, sorry this structure this large pouch like structure is called vacuole and what is the function of vacuole the function of vacuole is to store solid liquid and gaseous materials in that inside the cell right so this is the storage house we can say of the cell right another thing important thing you can see the lysosome these small vesicles are lysosome dear students lysosome are the small pouches or the vesicles which have a fluid inside them uh, a liquid inside them which is a mixture of many enzymes right these all enzymes are some uh, substances right which uh, bring about uh, the digestion of different materials inside the cell so the lysosome uh, is a pouch of enzymes the enzymes perform the function of uh, the digestion inside the cell that is called intracellular digestion right now look at <coughs> another structure the ribosomes you see the small particles these small particles are ribosomes the ribosomes are called protein factories of the cell because ribosomes are involved in the synthesis of protein now you will think that if the endoplasmic reticulum is also performing protein synthesis and ribosome is also performing protein synthesis how dear students there is a part of endoplasmic reticulum on which ribosomes are attached the surface has ribosomes attached so what exactly what actually produces proteins on endoplasmic reticulum that is ribosomes right so you can see you can notice there are two parts uh, of endoplasmic reticulum one is rough endoplasmic reticulum and other is smooth endoplasmic reticulum you can see on rough endoplasmic reticulum there are small particles these are ribosomes but on a smooth endoplasmic reticulum there are no ribosome attached their surface is removed uh, sorry th their surface is smooth that's why they are called smooth endoplasmic uh, reticulum so in this way there are two parts rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic re reticulum produces protein and smooth endoplasmic reticulum produces lipids and steroid hormones right now look at another thing that is plasmodesmata what is this plasmodesmata these are the connections you can see between the adjacent cells these are protoplasmic connections between the endoplasmic sorry between between the adjacent cells right the cell membrane of one cell right for example the cell membrane of this cell is connected to the cell membrane of this cell and in between the cell membrane there is protoplasm or cytoplasm so the protoplasmic connections or the cytoplasmic connections between the two plant cells is called plasmo desmeta through these pores or through these connections two cells can exchange some materials two cells can communicate with each other okay dear students one more structure is there that is golgi apparatus golgi apparatus is close to the endoplasmic reticulum and it plays a very important role in modifying and giving the final form to the to the proteins and lipids and the carbohydrates sorry proteins and lipids which are produced on the endoplasmic reticulum right golgi apparatus are also called uh, are also specialized for sorting out the materials inside the cell packaging them into small small vesicles and sending them throughout the cell so this was just a brief discussion about and the functions of various cell organelles and uh, this is the overall structure of the cell in the next videos we will be starting with the plasma membrane and we'll go on 
to all the structures and their functions of the cell right students so i will be making uh, more videos on the topic cell keep watching these videos keep studying right keep focusing sincerely on your studies uh, keep smiling take care and thank you for this uh, for watching this video